नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मंदार भानुशे एंड वी आर बैक अगेन विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ यूनिट टू ऑफ सेमिस्टर वन एफ आई बी कॉम मैथमेटिकल एंड स्टैटिस्टिकल टेक्निक्स पेपर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ग्राफिंग ऑफ लीनियर इन इक्वेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सो हाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ ग्राफ ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेश एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन ड्रॉ ग्राफ ऑफ लीनियर इन इक्वेलिटीज in solving of linear programming problems this is very important because the constraints which are there in the linear programming problem they are inequalities and when we have to find the optimization of that particular problem we have to solve the equation graphically wherein we have to draw the inequalities first so in this video lecture we will just see few examples of how to draw linear inequalities we shall be using the geogebra software in this video also to demonstrate how to draw the linear in equations as we did in the previous lecture also so let us begin so a quick revision of what we did in the previous video we saw how to draw the graph of x equal to 2 for example or let us say x equal to 4 right or y equal to 1 y equal to say i i am not taking the negative values because it is the same way and uh, let us draw them using the input bar now all of you also must have tried the activity which was given in the previous video lecture so this is x equal to 2 then we have x equal to 4 y equal to 1 and y equal to 5 Now what we are going to do in this uh, today's session is, as I said, we are first going to discuss about the linear in equations. So let us write down what we are mean by linear in equations. So for example, let us take this x equal to two first. So if we have the constraint or the linear in equation as x less than equal to two, then how to draw this linear in equation on the graph? we have already drawn this x equal to 2 this is our line x equal to uh if the value of x is equal to 1 so where is 1 on the graph it is here so if we have x equal to 0 it is here x equal to minus 1 here so these are all values which are less than 2 so when we have to plot the graph of x less than equal to 2 it means all values of x which are either less than that means to the left of this line x equal to 2 and remember this is equal to also is there what is the meaning of this it is either x is strictly less than 2 or x can be also equal to 2 so the combination of these two less than and equal to is this symbol less than equal to so x less than equal to 2 is the region which is to the left of x equal to 2 okay so all this region which is to the left of x equal to 2 now i am drawing it like this but i shall also show you using the geogebra app because that will also look quite good so let us see this example of plotting the region which represents x less than equal to 2 we can see the line x equal to 2 which is a line parallel to y axis and as we saw just now the region is going to respond to all values to the left of this line so let me go to the input bar and here i type x and we shall use the keyboard here less than equal to 2 and now you can see what happens on the screen you can see this entire region to the left of the line x equal to 2 including the line x equal to 2 is what represents x less than equal to 2 so let me just so this region which you see is the region corresponding to x less than equal to 2 now what do you think will be the region for example representing the inequality x greater than 3 for example greater than equal to 3 so to understand that first what we have to do we have to first draw the line x equal to 3 right so let us go to the input bar and type x equal to 3 so this is a line x equal to 3 let me also okay 
And what do you think will be x greater than or equal to 3? If we go by the intuition, this is the line which is representing x equal to 3. And when I want greater than or equal to 3, means all values which are greater than 3. So, 4, 5, 6 and all those values. So, it will be ideally this region. This is what we guess, correct? This is a region corresponding to x greater than or equal to 3. Let us go to the input bar here and check what happens to x greater than or equal to 3. And you can see the graph also immediately shows the same region. So, this is the region which is corresponding to x greater than or equal to 3. Let me remove all this once again and let us have another type. Now, let us see for linear equations of the type y less than or equal to and y greater than or equal to. Say for example, we want to do the plotting of y greater than or equal to 1. So, let us first draw y equal to 1. So, this is your y equal to 1 and what is our intuition? What will be y greater than or equal to 1? It will be the region which is above 1, greater than 1. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all those values. Let us check from the input bar and type with the toolbar here y greater than or equal to 1. And now we can easily see this, this is a region which is corresponding to y greater than or equal to 1. Let us take an example say y is, uh, let us take y less than or equal to 2. Okay, so, first we need to draw y equal to 2. So, this is your line y equal to 2 and y less than or equal to 2 will be y less than or equal to 2. It is a region which is below y equal to 2. So, this is how we plot linear inequations. Okay. So, let me just highlight it for you once again so that we need to understand this better. Okay. So, this was a line y equal to 2 and this region which is above this y equal to 2, okay, this is your y greater than or equal to 2 and uh, this e equation is y equal to 1 and this region below this is representing y less than or equal to 1. So, like that we can have all possibilities which we can plot related to linear inequations. Let us remove this once again and start fresh. Now comes the question where we have to plot inequalities where x and y both are there. For example, we have seen how to draw a line like x plus y equal to 5. We know that we have to draw a table like this x, y, x comma y where we can take first value of x as 0, put it in the equation, you get y value as 5, 0, 5. Then where is 0, 5? 0, 5 is somewhere here. Similarly, you put y equal to 0, you get x equal to 5, the point is 5 comma 0. So, that point is somewhere here. And then just you have to join these two points to get the equation x plus y equal to 5 on the graph. But instead of x plus y equal to 5, what if, if we have x plus y less than or equal to 5 as a constraint or x plus y greater than or equal to 5? Let us do that now. Okay, so let us first draw the line x plus y equal to 5. This is x plus y equal to 5. And what was the question? The question was to find the linear inequation x plus y say for example greater than or equal to 5. Now, when the line was parallel to the x axis or y axis, it was easy because to the right, to the left or above or down, it is easy to find out. When you have an equation of line like this, this is your line x plus y equal to 5. Greater than 5 intuitively means what region which is above this. Okay. So, this is what we feel. Now, whether we have to check whether this what we are feeling is right or wrong, we will do again using the GeoGebra app itself because that is quite easy for us to immediately compare. So, let me type again here x plus y and using the toolbar here, we want greater than or equal to 5. You can see this app very nicely shows us how can we plot the graph of x plus y 
less than equal to 5. And what if, if we want x plus y less than 5? So, let us do it in a similar way x plus 5, x plus y less than or equal to. So, we want less than equal to means it will also include x equal to 5, x plus y equal to 5. So, this is the region. Let us uh, change the color of the region also. Maybe we can get some good different colors. Let us take red. So, this region which you see with the different color now is corresponding to the region. Let me write down that. This is your region x plus y less than or equal to 5. So, this is what we feel when we draw. This intuition is true. Using this GeoGebra, we can validate that. So, very easy to guess the region of this linear inequations. Let us do two, three more examples and then we will do some activity for you. Let me remove all this first. Okay. So, let us take an uh, uh, equation of line say 2x plus 6y and first let us draw equal to 32. Let us zoom in little bit. So, this is the line. This is the line 2x plus 6y equal to 32. And if we have the inequality 2x plus 3y and say less than equal to 32, you can see how this inequation now looks like. So, we have 2x plus 6y. So, let me. So, this is the region which is representing 2x plus 6y less than equal to 32. What if, if I want greater than, so 2x plus 3, 6y, y, and greater than equal to 32. So, we can see this now. This is a region which is above the line, yes, and therefore, we can easily guess. So, greater than means above the line, you can say it like that, and less than equal to means below the line. Now, when we are doing the linear programming problems, so if you remember the previous video lecture where we discussed about formation of linear programming problem, we said there are three things which constitutes a linear programming problem. The first thing related to LPP is the objective function. The second is different constraints. And the third was the non negativity conditions. And what were those non negativity conditions? They were these linear inequalities x greater than equal to 0, y greater than equal to 0. What this means on the graph paper, and if you understand this, your life will become very easy when you are solving the problems of LPP. What this 2 x greater than equal to 0, y greater than equal to 0 represents on the graph is this portion, this first quadrant. Okay. Let us understand this from the graph itself. So, let me plot here x greater than equal to 0. So, if you see it properly, what is this x greater than equal to 0? It is this region which is to the right of the y axis. And now, if I also add y greater than equal to 0, what is this region y greater than equal to 0? It is a region which is above the axis, right? And what is our non negativity condition? Let us read it once again. So, our non negativity conditions are x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0, both. So, I will just use this mathematical symbol here. And now you can see what happens to this. So, the GeoGebra software gives us the region which is common to both x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0. So, this region which you see is your region which is common. So, x greater than equal to 0 and y. So, this is going to be there in each and every linear programming problem. So, when you are actually solving the linear programming problem, you will be always asked to 
solve the linear programming problem by using these two non negativity conditions what are these two non negativity conditions x is non negative y is non negative so this is going to be there always which means that you don't have to look into the other three quadrants like the one which you are seeing these two colored and one which is non colored so the problem is not going to be solved in these remaining three quadrants what is the solution where is the solution going to be the solution is only going to be in this quadrant so the meaning of the third constituent of the linear programming problem which is the non negativity condition is that the graph is only going to be in the first quadrant which is now shaded with the blue color as you can see on the screen fine so let us go back again and take an example where we are going to see the linear inequations once again and then we will give you an activity for self practice and we'll come back with the next video where we will be solving a linear programming problem so let me just zoom in little bit okay so that we can understand the graph paper yes so let us take an example of uh, line say 2x plus 5y and let us take less than equal to 16 or let us take uh, 20 so this is your graph of this linear inequation now when you are drawing this graph here it gives you the negative quadrants also but in the final result we don't have to look into that so let us take another example of say 3x plus 4y and less than equal to say 24 now both you can see they there is a intersecting region also right you can see what is the common region where both these linear inequalities intersect or they have common and what if if i restrict it to a and b that is both the common regions so this is the region which is common to both and now let me also take this x which is our non negativity condition this is just to display x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 so now if i hit enter here you can see on the left hand side toolbar this c is representing the region which is common to both the linear inequalities 2x plus 5y less than or equal to 20 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 24 and d is our non negativity condition right let me now combine c and d both so because c is our two linear inequations and d is our non negativity condition this what you are seeing right now with the red color this is the region which is the common region which we have to consider when we have to solve the linear programming problem we will discuss about this in more details in the next video lecture where we are going to talk about solving the linear programming problem using graphs this last thing which you just now have seen i will request you to go to the description of this video and click on the link of geogebra applet which we have shared with you so that you can practice this before we go and listen to the next video where we are going to use this concept of drawing two or more linear inequations and then find out the common region of these linear inequations from the graph and then solve the linear programming problem so for that if you want to understand it better it is good to practice this concept first by solving lot of examples which we are going to give to you through the description link which is given below thank you for watching this video Namaste.